Hello everyone, thanks for tuning in to today's second video. We're going to have a look at the weather for the next 10 to 14 days for today's second video. Day 10 will take us to the 10th of August and we'll be able to turn out beyond that via the GFS ECM on Sunday because very much around a couple of weeks. We'll have a look at the GFSB2 at the end of the video. The next four weeks will get us pretty much to the end of August and uh, I'll get on it back for you in a moment. Just say about the first video today was our 6 a.m. upload. Uh, and if that wasn't, I've got Terry Scully's August forecast coming up for you at 7 p.m. this evening. It'll be an interesting forecast from Terry. I've already got it, you know, uh, in my possession. And uh, I tell you, it'll be a very, very interesting forecast from uh, Terry this uh, this month. So so please come back at 7 for Terry's uh, August forecast. Thank you so much, everybody. Dear Matt, please like, share, subscribe on the O's. And thank you so much. Very sorry about uh, having to cancel the live stream yesterday today at the last uh, moment. It's just um, events uh, were out of my control with that, but we will be live streaming again uh, next uh, Sunday or this coming Sunday at 8pm. Right, okay, so wait for the finalised number of century in temperature to come in. The CT up to the 30th was provisional, provisionally sitting at 18.1, which was uh, around 2 degrees above 61, 1990 average. I think we're going to come in around 18 Celsius. Hopefully we'll be able to confirm that uh, shortly. Hopefully we'll be able to get that confirmed for you. Um, I, you know, be tomorrow, I suppose, tomorrow, 10 to 14 day. Hopefully we'll update that this afternoon and I'll be able to bring you the, uh, the, the news uh, tomorrow. Also, I've got some more very warm weather to come in August. These are the GFS upper air temperature and precipitation ensembles for the next couple of weeks. We're at New Key today, suggested location for this part of the video. If you'd like to have your local town or city feature within this bit of a video, then uh, please let me know through the comments or you can email at gazweather to gmail.com or you can ask us on our social media channels, Facebook or Twitter. And uh, we're, we're more than happy to feature your local town or city. So we're starting off uh, above average at the moment. It's already pretty warm. It's going to get even warmer tomorrow. Temperatures in the south east tomorrow could be uh, getting into the upper 20s to low 30s Celsius. Maybe a bit of a dip coming up uh, around the second half of the week. So temperatures cool down. Uh, for the second half of the week, but from the weekend onwards, they're taking off. You can see the white line, which is the ensemble mean, going well above the 30 year average for several days, actually. This is an extended period of very warm or hot weather coming up, I think, through the uh, second week of August. We have got some very hot uh, ensemble members there, including the uh, midnight operational, GFS operational, and that's a thick green line that goes really hot. And not just a spike, that's not just like a day or two of very hot. Temperature. That's actually several days, you know, several days of really hot temperatures there from uh, the uh, GFS midnight run. There's one or two also going for like a, a big spike, uh, a big temperature spike again. These ones just here, lift the temperature above 20 degrees at 858 degrees. Not for long, probably only for a day or two, and then drop it down. Very similar to what we had back in July. But I mean, if we were to be able to sustain these sort of temperatures, uh, for for several days, um, getting up to 18 degrees at 850 HPA for, let's say, five or six days, then that would be a real, real heat wave. You know, it probably won't get to, like, 40 degrees. It won't get to extreme temperature that we had back in, uh, in, in July, you know, about last month. But it would be very, very hot temperatures, mid to upper 30 Celsius for several days days in succession so that is a proper heat wave uh, type scenario there with gfs operation well, it's a little bit of an outlier uh you'll you'll be able to see that you know it, it's a bit of an outlier not on its own so i wouldn't say it's a complete outlier there are other ensemble members getting as hot as that probably not as sustained though um but anyway we'll wait and see it certainly looks like we're in for a warming trend it's going to get uh, significantly warmer i think for a few days during the second week of uh, August and it'll be a question of how hot is it going to get. Precipitation wise lots of dry weather coming up not entirely dry there will be some showery bursts here and there but basically the, the prolonged dry spell goes on down south maybe a little bit wetter right at the very end of the ensemble grab but of course that is extended range and therefore unreliable. Temperature anomalies from the 1st to the 9th of August are going to be above average particularly so for England and Wales so if a very prolonged warm spell goes on and uh, precipitation anomalies from the 1st to the 9th of August are dry and normal, especially so 
down south. The latest wind from that from EarthNorthSchool.net shows, but today we're bringing the air in from off the Atlantic Ocean. There's an area of low pressure out west, so that will bring some wet weather uh, to the northern half of the country tonight. Check out the uh, check out the UK weather forecast, 6 a.m. forecast, uh, for more about that. Right, so let's start going through some chart data. Then. This is how the UK Met Euro run is looking for midnight on Thursday. A little bit cooler. Second half of the week, we will start to bring in some cooler air from the north. Then high pressure will reach in from off the Atlantic over the weekend and into the beginning of next week. High pressure is well and truly established out of the country. It's not extreme heat, that, but it is very warm, possibly quite hot down in the south. And uh, also very dry as well. There will be lots of dry weather uh, with with that. So, so classic summer high pressure sitting over top of the country there. I can't. Looks like this again. Winds in from the northwest on Thursday. A little bit cooler and uh, more showing. Then high pressure reaching in from off the Atlantic over weekend and into next week. That high pressure becoming centred uh, top of the country. So that brings lots of dry and uh, very warm or quite hot weather with it. GFS midnight run again pulls the winds into the northwest on Thursday, so it starts, it starts to turn a little bit cooler and more showy. Man, high pressure ridging in from the Atlantic over weekend, turning things drier and warmer. And then this is how the prolonged hot spell sets up with a big ridge from the Azores through the country into northern parts of Europe. We start, we start to bring in very warm or hot air from the east or from the southeast, and that takes us all the way up to day 10, uh, when we're looking hot, actually day 10 is the 11th of August, not the 10th, I got that wrong, um, plus 20 Celsius isotherm uh, is getting close to southern England there by, uh, by the 10th of August, so extreme heat again just sitting uh, uh, sitting just to ourselves there. Maybe by day 10 so I go a little bit thundery, it looks like we begin to develop a thundery low, within that very hot air, but we are pulling in the plus 20 south ice well into the southeastern corner, and, you know, it's very hot anyway, we might probably not up to 40 degrees, but certainly, um, like, uh, mid to upper 30 Celsius there uh, would, would definitely be uh, achievable, I think. Uh, into the next range, uh, beyond day 10, so it stays very warm or hot all the way up to, like, the 13th of August, so we're a long way out now, it's like turning increasingly volatile, though, we've got low pressure out to our west and a thundry low inside to trundle up from Spain and Biscay, so beginning by the middle of August, we need to go much more thundery, uh, with the, uh, with, with that GFS midnight run. And then we eventually finish up pulling in something a little bit cooler and pressure from, uh, off the Atlantic Ocean. I'm going to get a temperature forecast up, so you can see a maximum temperatures with that run, uh, see how hot it gets, so back in, uh, in around two seconds. Okay, back, got the uh, uh, maximum temperature charts up, so here we go, this is how the uh, GFS Midnight Rain forecasting maximum temperatures for that remarkable uh, heatwave period, starting on Sunday the 7th of August, where we've got temperatures widely to the up 20s, to just wrap just around 30 degree mark there uh, down in the south. So pretty hot then. And uh, we go through to Monday the 8th. So this is like um, this time next week. We're up to like 30, 31, 32 down in the south. So approaching 90 Fahrenheit. But hotter still on Tuesday the 9th of August. Temperatures widely bent into the low to mid 30 Celsius. Some places going to 34 or 35 degrees. Um, when you see the temp, hotter still. We're now going to like 35 to 36 widely across England and Wales. And then uh, the next day, Thursday the 11th, is even hotter than that. Going to around 36 or 37 degrees. This is day after day of very, very hot temperatures. Not just one one very extreme day and then the temperature falls back. Uh, one or two very extreme days when the temperature falls back. This is day after day of, of very, very hot uh, hot weather. This is um, Friday the 12th of August. Again, like 36, 37 being uh, forecast there. Again, approaching 100 Fahrenheit. Um, hotter still on the 13th of August. Up to 36, 37 more widely across England and Wales, not just in the south, but like up into Midlands and Lincolnshire. Um, no 38s or 39s, so, um, or 40s, so we're not going to that extreme record-breaking temperature that we had 
in uh, in uh, in July. But English so those are very 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 hot temperatures. 35, 36, 37, day after day would be an absolutely phenomenal heat wave. And uh, that's how certainly the 14th looks again. 36, 37, widely there across much of England and Wales. Remarkable uh, heat wave. Uh, things beginning to start cooling down by the time you get through the 15th, maybe 15th. Uh, so then um, we begin to lower back down into the uh, low 30s Celsius. That's as the bungee breakdown is beginning to take place. Uh, by the time you get through the Tuesday, the 16th of August, then we're seeing temperatures into like mid to upper 20s Celsius. But it's a remarkable heat wave there, at least five, six, maybe seven days with temperatures of, of mid to upper 30s Celsius. That would be a, a phenomenal and remarkable heat wave. If it came up, it probably won't do. Uh, but uh, <laughs> it's, uh, you should just never rule anything out, do you? This average FS6 there is looking. So again, rubber showering, a little bit cooler for Thursday. And then into Friday, Saturday, high pressure reaches in from off the Atlantic, being not dry. And uh, warm weather, we have that high pressure still there over the country into Sunday and bridging through the country into the early part of next week as well. will be very warm to locally hot through the early part of next week of that area of high pressure. The upper air temperatures aren't as hot there well, for early next week as they are on the GFS weeknight run, but it's still enough to lift, get, lift temperatures to 30 Celsius uh, anyway, I would have thought. It does break things down much more quickly though on the 6th day compared to midnight run. So this is Wednesday, 10th of August, in before day 10. Low pressure coming in off the Atlantic, probably bringing some thunder, maybe some rain, uh, general rain in the north, and sort of cooler air heading in from off the Atlantic. So you see the upper air temperatures that already we're beginning to pull cooler, fresher air in from off the Atlantic. So by day 10, it's all over, and we're back into those cooler, fresher, showering northwesterly winds. Um, beyond that, just a little bit mixed, really, then as we go through the extended range of GFS 6, they nowhere near as hot as the GFS midnight run. So uh, maybe that's a more sensible uh, scenario. We'll wait and see. Uh, if you enjoyed the video, then please you like, share, subscribe. Thank you so much, everybody. Doing that. Don't forget, Terry Stroyer's August forecast will be coming up for you tonight at 7pm. It's going to be an interesting uh, listen, I think that. Right, so GM, rather cool and showery on Thursday. With winds in from the northwest, but high pressure quickly back in business over the weekend, bringing lots of dry and warm to locally quite hot weather into the south through the uh, second half weekend. The open part of next week is big, strong, stable ridge from the Azores to the central northern parts of Europe. Uh, keeps the, the dry and very warm, even hot weather going in the south. Upper air temperatures are not extreme, but enough to get the temperature into the upper 20s Celsius, maybe to around 30 Celsius, Mark would have thought there with GM, and that ridge continues to, to build through the country right. We up to day 10, which is the 11th of August. And then the ECFWF again pulls in those cooler, uh, rather more showery northwesterly winds um, uh, at the end of this week. So a bit of a cool down came at the end of this week. Then high pressure back in over the weekend through the early part of next week, looking mainly dry, very warm, locally quite hot. I would have thought by early next week down in the south. That's how the upper air temperatures look with plus 15 Celsius ice firm getting closer to southeastern parts of England. A um, little bit cooler as we get to day 10, but still high pressures in control of the weather, so the very dry spell will go on. Uh, temperatures probably fluctuating a little bit uh, day by day. This is a precipitation forecast based on that ECM run from Tobedjo.com. We have got some wet weather in central northern parts of the country tonight and tomorrow, but very, very little getting down into the south. And then beyond that, high pressure just takes over, really. So uh, the long, long spell of dry weather goes on through southern parts of the country. These are the options on the table within the ECM Ensemble today for day 10, getting us to the 11th of August. 15 members of the ECM Ensembles have high pressure bridging in from off the Atlantic into western parts of Europe, so mainly dry, very warm with that. 12 have high pressure just to our north and around that we're bringing winds from the east, so very warm, possibly quite hot with that. 10 with high pressure bridging in from the Azores into northern Europe, that's going to be uh, mainly dry and, and uh, potentially very warm too. We've got eight down here with high pressure pretty much over the top of the country. So again, that's going to be very warm, like possibly hot scenario, very dry as well. And then we've got six, including the control and the operation run, just taking that high pressure out to west a little bit, dropping a trough of low pressure over Scandinavia. So that's rather cooler and more showering. 
uh, day 10, but only six going for that, so, which tells us that the uh, operational run uh, today it probably isn't all that well supported by the uh, ECM ensembles. Actually, most of those ensemble members look like they want to be uh, certain dry and, and probably quite hot around uh, day 10. In two weeks' time, uh, these are the options. This gets us to the 16th of August, 14 members of the ECM and so we'll take high pressure out to the west then, with low pressure dropping into the north. So that means cooler air in from the northwest. Still mainly dry, could be a little bit showery in the north, but uh, the thing with that is that temperatures will be lowering. 10, with high pressure more or less over, country, over top of the country, but again, keeps it very dry, possibly warm or hot. 9, take the high pressure a little bit further out into the Atlantic there. With low pressure, you know, Scandinavia, so that's a little bit cooler uh, as well. Uh, we've got nine just here with trough low pressure around Denmark. And again, that brings in cooler northerly winds. Uh, five with high pressure just to the northwest of Scotland. Mainly dry, very warm, possibly quite hot. That and four with high pressure ridging in from the Atlantic up to northern Europe. And again, that keeps things mainly dry and very warm. So it all depends on where the high pressure goes, really, by the middle of the month as to whether the hot spell will still be going on. Uh, or whether actually things will be cooling down. There's not much sign of rain, I have to say, in, in most of these uh, uh, options, you know, even ones that take the high pressure out to the west. There's still more or less, and so got just really this one, I suppose, but might bring some wet weather. This option here with this low pressure around Denmark might bring some showery weather. But um, even that, I expect precipitation would be modest. So I think we may have to start talking in terms of drought, you know, for this August, uh, if uh, if these charts verify. Let's wait and see. Right, so finally, CFSB, two meters of 500 millibar height on this breakdown into week periods. The first week period will take us from the 1st to the 7th of August. The coming week, we'll have high pressure just to our south with low pressure up to the north. Winds coming in off the Atlantic means that normal air is a little bit showery, but it's mostly dry and very warm down south. Uh, week 2 is going to be the 8th to the 14th of August. High pressure event is right in over top of the country. Dry and hot with that, uh, I would have thought. And then week 3 also looking very dry and quite hot. Really, this 15th to 21st of August. Again, high pressure is more or less over the top of the country. So, um, you know, the prolonged dry spell goes on. Bit of a change for week four, which is the 22nd, 28th of August. Uh, then we find some lower pressure moving in towards Scandinavia. Higher pressure pulls out into the Atlantic. The winds go into a northwesterly direction. So starting to turn cooler and uh, maybe a little bit more showery there. But it's four weeks away. It's a very, very long way off. And before that, we've got lots of dry and very warm or hot weather to come. Okay, if you enjoyed the video, then please do like, share, subscribe. Thank you so much, everybody, for doing that. Drop a comment. Let's see what you can all of our videos. I mean, thank you so much uh, for doing this. We've got to put on around 28 subscribers now, I think, to get ourselves to 14.2k. So please give us a sub, and thank you so much uh, for doing that. We're going to be back at 7 with Terry Scully's August forecast. It's an interesting forecast. I shall say no more than that. I've already read it, and uh, it's going to be an interesting uh, one. So uh, I'll see you at 7 for that. But uh, for today, and tomorrow, of course, we've got the 6 a.m. upload EC 30 day forecast uh, and also 10 14 day. Um, so I'll see you at 7. Enjoy the rest of your Monday afternoon. And uh, this one, though, that's all for now. And thanks for watching.